continuing with our tutorial on Moodle quizzes, I'm now going to teach you how to create a fill-in-the-blanks quiz or better known in Moodle as the short answer uh, quiz. So uh, again, we go to add an activity. We have already turned on um, the editing and we are going to add a quiz then provide a descriptive name for instance sample uh, fill in the blanks a k a, a short answer quiz okay. and provide an introduction this is a fill Then items uh, I want to revisit in this quiz Chinese numbers but this time again we want to shuffle the quest questions mm, no need for that okay this time we are going to add uh, a different set okay to select a different category here import questions uh, Chinese numbers again but we're going to be using mp3 files rather than images so I've already created a number of uh, short answer that's fill in the blanks uh, questions here in our question bank uh, which is identified by that rectangular icon so I'm going to add one more so we choose to create a question and we select short answer okay we provide a descriptive name I'll call this Chinese uh, mp3 9 and the question text would be uh, I'll instruct the student to listen to the mp3 of a Chinese number now uh, in order to input a multimedia file like mp3 number one is that the administrator should have turned on the filter multimedia and at the same time meaning the site administration administrator and the, and next is that you have to create a word and then create a link to that word clicking insert a web link okay and then what we'll do is we'll browse because I've already uploaded the mp3 file okay so we look for 9 and the link is there so what I'm going to do uh, it will require a title I'll put the title what is a what is this number okay and click OK and then I'm going to instruct the student to uh, uh, ask a question what is this number in English okay so we scroll down and we'll just ignore that I'm not going to include any images and here in case sensitivity you can either select yes or no if you select yes uh, capit it, uh, if you have capital letters for answers then it's necessary to have capital answers probably good for proper names but in this case I don't really need it so I'll say no case is not important my first answer is number 9 I'll give it a 100% grade and then I'll give a feedback like correct this is the number 9 in Chinese okay not a very good feedback but just to give you an example and then uh, the student can also input the word 9 okay so I'll give it also 100% and then probably just copy 
and paste my feedback. Now I can also put in a uh, a, mis uh, a wrong answer or a slightly mistake answer. For instance, improperly incorrect spelling, I could either give that 50% or I could give it a zero grade and it's incorrect so that I could say wrong. Uh, your spelling is wrong. Okay, so, but generally in this kind of, in this uh, type of uh, short answer question, I usually just give right answers because there is a, uh, there is a uh, general feedback for wrong answers. Now, uh, you can see here that in the question bank, our question has been listed. Uh, chin mp3 9 so what we'll do again is to select all our 10 item um, questions short answer questions and then click add to quiz and here it is here's our quiz we want to preview that to test it we have to it always it's a good idea it's a good thing to uh, practice to test your questions okay so this has been randomized so we'll have to look for oh I wouldn't know where where my this is the same question <laughs> so let's go back and then we'll just test that individual question okay so this is chin. to test it we just click this icon here okay so here it is and when I click this it says Cho. I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation uh, later on I'll just uh, get a native speaker to record that so I could answer for instance 9 submit and you can see it's correct see correct this number is 9 or I could answer 9 and submit that is also correct but when I answer 9 I get the feedback your spelling is wrong and that's 0 incorrect see so that is how you create a uh, short answer quiz just one uh, one tip is that it's not a good idea if you're going to put multimedia files to name it based on the answer as you can see here when I hover my mouse here in the uh, uh, below the uh, window is uh, you can see uh, the URL HTTP localhost 9 mp3 and so uh, you should uh, really rename your mp3 files with something else uh, aside from the answer it's the same with images uh, Anyway, this is just a sample and I, w I wanted to produce that. So that's, that's uh, the end of our tutorial.